In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be the best tight defense in Madden 23. This defense does a really good job at kind of playing a bend but don't break style against tight, as well as giving you some opportunities for some quick pressure and kind of forces your opponent to be perfect on the offensive side of the ball. They have to consistently make the right read. And this is a great foundational defense that you can then adjust from to get more stops against tight. Now, if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, we're in the 4 6 playbook today. You can get everything in the Patreon. Uh, we're dropping a ton of updates to Dollar. Uh, so if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of our Mad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, so I wanted to kind of talk through uh, some stuff that I've been doing against tight and uh, really just in general compression. It doesn't, it doesn't just have to be tight offset. This is kind of my general base, pick it up, play it against any formation uh, or any, you know, any offense, any tight. So uh, real quick, we're in dollar. We're going to put our auto alignment to base. We're going to put our zone coverage on match. You don't have to turn auto flip off. You can, um, but we're going to be in DB Fire 2 for this video. Okay, so DB Fire 2, we're going to press. We're going to bring these safeties in to the box and ideally inside of the slot receivers. That is our first step. And then from there, um, typically what I like to do when I'm defending tight, if I'm defending tight offset, I want to defend, I want to use her this linebacker. If I'm defending tight slots, um, basically, you know, you would want to use her this guy. Okay, so uh, the coverage is basically the same though. So um, what we're going to do is obviously a lot of people like to run, you know, this kind of concept right here. So how are we going to defend this? Well, relatively easily, all we're going to do is we're going to put our outside corner on the left side in an outside quarter. We're going to middle third the safety on the short side of the field. We're going to hard flat the linebacker on the short side of the field. And then we're going to vert hook this slot corner. Now what that vert hook is going to do is that vert hook is going to take away running back seam throws, any kind of quick seam route over there. Combine that with that soft squat. You could also turn that into a hard flat or cloud flat, and it's going to be pretty good for any kind of underneath check down like what you might see out of this. So there's snap the ball. We're going to go here. Boom. They try to throw that, and you see the pressure is coming quickly um, against these compression set and that's really the i think the easiest thing to do against tight is again boom boom and then hard flat and uh, vertical hook now this linebacker on this on this hard flat it will actually do a pretty good job at kind of baiting the running back routes so you see here like kind of looks like that's bracketed now that throw is open right there but the beauty of having the vertical hook and again it kind of does kind of depend a little bit on like what they're running but the beauty of having this vertical hook um, over here on the right side is that it allows me now what I could do with this guy on the right is I can man him up on that outside player. And then now I can use her in the middle of the field. So now I've got a little bit more of a bracket on this corner route right here. I've got it manned up. You know, that's not always going to be there, um, especially if you shade outside. You do have the ability to also be able to go over and user it, which I'll show you what that looks like. We'll show you some other route combos in just a second. But this, by and large, it will do okay at defending one of the best concepts in Madden 23, which is this specific route combo. Now, again, if I really, really wanted to stop it, what we might do is instead maybe we would run the coverage like this. Let's say we did something like this right here. Now we're going to use her over on this side and we're going to run a cloud. And then we have this, this deep half. Now, what I would do with this deep half, if I was you, is I would say, okay, let's put that guy in an outside third. Um, you know, if we wanted to stop any kind of short side concepts like this, that, that guy needs to be an outside third. Obviously, you see the pressure coming in quick and then also the cloud flat helping to bracket uh, that corner. So again, kind of up to you in terms of how you want to use this. I think in general, like this makes a lot of sense here. There, uh, if you think about it, doing a concept, just basically identifying the shells and rolling to the short side is one of the easiest ways to stop a lot of what people are going to throw. So even if they were running something like this, now the vertical hook will match on that corner and you'll have the cloud flat there to be able to defend it. So you know, really just simply rolling to the short side because if you think about most tight sets, they want to flood the short side of the field. 
And then to the wide side of the field, we can utilize these outside thirds and outside quarters. But again, you know, utilize this right here. Like this is this is going to be a really solid covered shell. Um, you know, you have the deep half coming over the top here. You have the vertical hook there. And then now this outside quarter, if you shade that outside, um, you know, you can help too, by the way. So that's what I'm going to also show you. So like if you have the vertical hook, he'll guard the slant for just long enough if your pressure comes in. So you can get over here and go help there and then come back here. And that makes it even more kind of cloudy in terms of if they want to run something like that. Now, another route combination that a lot of people like to run, especially against dollar, is something like this, uh, the Saints spot shake. So how does this play do against defending something like this? It actually does pretty decent. This little flat zone is going to kind of get in the seam area for just long enough. You have a vertical hook that's going to be in the seam area on the right. You also have um, a cloud flat that will take the back. So you'll see here, like, you're going here. You can kind of bait those streaks and then kind of lurk back down to the slant, giving you a pretty good way to defend tight. So, again, if you want a really simple defense for tight, I think this is the best, um, you know, just something simple like this, utilizing a vertical hook um, to kind of help in case they're running uh, bench. Vertical hooks will do a number for you on the wide side of the field. They're really good on the wide side because they really can cover a lot of ground. Because a vertical hook, if you think about it, it covers from the hash marks to the numbers. Also, all the while, guys, remember you're sending pressure and pressure bust pipes. So if you, even if you did something as simple as this, where you had a third and you had this guy here, and then you have this guy on a hard flat, and now you're using right in here. This is a, still a really good defense. Pressure is good. You're guaranteeing the pressure. Gu pressure is going to come, and then now they have to get rid of the ball relatively quickly. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member today. It's only ten dollars to do so. Head down to the description and go click the link down below.